Pyatt's tank. I'm in Venice, Florida. It's about 3.45 a.m. in the morning. And um, Hurricane Irma has passed a lot. It went pretty well today. Um, the storm didn't get all that bad. A lot of wind and rain like it is now. A lot of these trees around me have taken a lot of abuse from the wind. And it's, the storm has passed by a lot. And it's still really windy outside. We had electric all day long. And I was lying down watching TV and I heard an explosion. And then I heard it again. And the power went out. So now I looked up on FPL. That's uh, the Florida Power and Light company that runs the electric in Florida. And uh, most of everybody in the whole state of Florida has lost power. So I don't know when our electric will be back on. But I opened up most of the windows because they are boarded up. And I sandbagged just in case. They are boarded up so I opened up the windows. And uh, it is a nice breeze out. It is like uh, probably 70 mile an hour wind gust, but the wind is just blowing so hard that it's like AC in the house, so I'm not going to get hot. Just wanted to come and let everybody know that it was 3 o'clock in the morning, almost 4, and it is completely dark out here. It's black, but the wind is still blowing really hard. I'm kind of concerned because I have this old tree in my backyard. I'll try to get close so maybe you can see it. Here, what I'll do is I have a flashlight. I'm going to shine on it. There went a leaf. This big ass tree in the backyard, it's in my neighbor's backyard, it has taken a lot of abuse throughout the day and yesterday and the wind is just unbearable. And I am worried about this tree, but it stood up to the storm pretty well. Pretty well stood up to the storm. Man, this wind. If you can't hear it, it is pretty devastating wind. I mean, it took out electric, it took out the fence. The fence is gone. But nobody has power in the neighborhood at all. I'm just going to walk around and take a look at everything. It's not raining anymore, and the roads were flooded, but they have drained. Someone let their dog out back during a storm? That's not right. That's pretty messed up, actually. That's pretty mean. You're going to keep your dog outside while there's a storm? I mean, 70 mile an hour wind gusts? <laughs> Hope the dog's all right. Sorry about that, that was my finger. But, I mean, wow, this is this is crazy. It's just nuts that the storm's already gone. And the wind is still so, blowing so hard. It hasn't blown me away, thank God. Well, my wife and kid would be upset, but I could fly like an eagle. <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to come to you and tell you that even though the storm's gone, the wind's still pretty dangerous. There's trees that could still fall over from this wind. They could still be flying debris, just like in a tornado, flying around. I could get hit by debris. So I'm going to go under the safety of my roof to keep myself safe. But I, I hope everybody's safe, and I hope that um, 
that everybody took cover during the storm. If you got out, great. If you hunkered down and prepared yourself and you made it through, awesome. It just sucks that before the storm even got to Florida, the government, you know, Rick Scott came on and told everybody they should leave. This is going to be a devastating storm. Category 5 hurricane that came through. It was going to mess up houses. Then storm surge was going to come after that. 8 to 10 feet of storm surge was going to mess up all of Florida. And it's a mandatory evacuation and all of that. And nothing like that even happened. Not in Venice. So they beefed up the storm too much and they made everybody scared. And I think that's pretty messed up. And for the weather people that said that this storm was going to be Category 5 storm all the way up to Georgia and it made landfall at Category 3, they should be fired. Because that's not how you sell the weather. You don't scare people. And scaring people is messed up. Unless they want to be scared. But not in a dangerous situation like hurricane coming. So my heart goes out to the people that actually got really hurt down there. Not in the state of Florida, but you know, in the Bahamas and in Cuba. My heart goes out to you. I am sorry that you were devastated by the storm and we weren't. And I pray for you. And thank you very much for watching and tuning in. I will give an update in the morning to see if we even have power again. Uh, I wish you all well and good luck and God bless.